Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to do wiring of ST meter with combined CTPT uh, metering unit. So basically this is used to measure the high voltage and high current. Accordingly, it can measure the energy consumption. So before we start the session, I would like to request you if you are not a subscriber my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so basically what is ct ct stands for current transformer that means a current transformer essentially lowers or step down a high current to lower safer level that you can manage properly so basically its function is to steps down the higher currents to lower range it means up to 1 ampere or 5 ampere this is the ratio of ct this is the secondary side current then uh, it steps down the current to be measured so that it, so that you can measure it with average range emitter okay so here converting large current primary current into a small 1 ampere either 5 ampere so this is the ratio of ct either it can found in uh, ratio some like like primary current is to 1 ampere or 5 ampere here what is the use of ct so it provide the current for the coil of measuring device and protecting relay device so for measuring device means to emitter okay then or multifunction meter or protecting relay device so relay also with the help of relay only can operate the bcb like a, in case of over current short circuit current at that condition current transformer will give the signal to this relay and then accordingly it will trip the circuit this is the view of ct current transformer here we have our terminals p1 and p2 so this is the primary side of current transformer here we have a terminal so name is p1 and p2 then uh, here we have a terminal secondary terminal here s1 and s2 terminal secondary terminal and this is the diagram suppose uh, this is only one city if we uh, want to measure the current for three phase system then we have to stall each city for each line so suppose here it is connect always connected in series as you know that so one line over here and one line over here so means one line suppose r is here so r over here then r goes out from p2 okay and it will goes to st panel then to transformer and this is the secondary side so secondary side always connected into meter now pt so pt stand for potential transformer so it is used to measure the voltage so what is the function of PT? So voltage transformer professionally convert the high voltage into a standard secondary voltage that is 110 voltage lower for easier utilization for protecting and measuring instrument devices. Okay. So this is used for uh, convert the high voltage size. If you want to measure the high voltage, suppose 11 kb connect directly to a voltmeter. So what will happen it will burst burn that's why we have to use the pt so pt what is the function of pt it will convert the high voltage into 110 voltage which is major level of the voltage so converting large primary voltage into 110 voltage then providing the voltage of coil measuring device and protecting relay again this will provide the voltage coil voltage of measuring device 
that is voltmeter or multifunction meter or protecting relay relay different kinds of relay okay so this is the view of potential transformer here we can use you can see this is the fuse so it is always connected in parallel so here this is the three phase system for each system we have to use its pt so what happened generally we connect it in parallel so for b phase just it connect over here and here we have a uh, fuse then another terminal it goes to the directly to earth thing okay and secondary side over here it is goes to directly to voltmeter so here if we talk about its uh, terminal so generally it's written like a and b then its secondary side a small a and a small b so in this way we can do the wiring now come to the wiring okay here we have a pole mounted service station where we have a ctpt metering unit as you can see so this is the combined ctpt both included on the pole actually this is the ctpt unit and this is the sld where we can see this the assembly of ctpt unit for measure the ht side current voltage and energy okay so let's do the wiring for 11 kv line first for that what we have to do we have to take in the meter so this is the ht meter or we can say qod energy meter and here suppose here we have a ryb 11 kv line now to measure the energy consumption of this system what we can do we have to take the 3 ct okay so here we have taken 3 ct for 3 line then 3 pt for 3 line so now to do the wiring what we have to do so this is for r y and this is for b simply take the wire tap up the wire from this 11 kv line and then it goes to st panel so this is p1 and this is p2 similarly for y let's tap up from here this is the 11 kv point of supply so here we have taken lo and then p2 from p2 it will goes to the st panel or transformer similarly for b phase okay this is for primary connection y then come to secondary so here we have a terminals like this through the terminals there is a s1 s2 then s1 s2 for y phase then s1 st for b phase then and neutral even we have a earthing terminals as well so for secondary wiring of ct first s1 let's do for r phase so s1 we have already connected then s2 okay similarly for b phase ct uh, sorry y phase ct so y s1 then y s2 similarly for b phase so b s1 then b s2 so up to here we have completed the ct wiring okay so what we can do uh, for s2 each of phase s2 terminal of the ct we can loop it into one and make it earth thing make it earth okay then come to pt so simply it will connect it to parallelly to this line so over here we have directly connected it once say here we have already have level the 11 kv r phase now similarly for b and then y and then this is b now what we can do for primary terminal of another terminal it will make common and goes to the earth okay make it a star point then uh, now for secondary side wiring of this pt here we have a small a and b a and b okay so what we can do for a terminal let's connect it to r for r phase then b for sorry lo for lo then b for b now what we can do to make a neutral for each b terminal for each b terminals of secondary of this pt let's make it t let's make it common okay make it a star and then it will connect to this end terminal which is neutral and and this gonna be earth also okay
So in this way we can do the wiring of ST meter with CTPT metering unit. Okay. So hope you guys understand about how to do wiring of TOD energy meter, ST meter. So as you can see over here, so this is the uh, TOD meter which is mounted below this pole at eye level where, where we can take the daily energy meter reading. So this is the actually CTPT combined. So here what actually, so this is the incoming line. Okay. So this is the incoming line. So 11 KB R suppose then y then b okay then over here this is the ct actually this is the ct this side is ct and this side is pt so here it is directly connected and it is going to st panel or vcb and all terminal of secondary terminals are at this this is the terminal blocks over where we can found s1 s2 of this ct of 3 in six terminals for this and then a a1 a2 then like this so from here we can take a wire control wire and it will directly connect to this st meter so in this way we can do the wiring of tod energy meter so hope you guys understand about how to do tod energy meter connection with ctpt metering units combine with you. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you get notification regarding my upcoming videos. Thank you very much. See you again in next video.